I'm so excited for this video because I'm going to show you tabs and I think tabs might be my favorite part of Microsoft Teams. And that's because I can go to the right hand side of grades and I can add using the add button different tabs and I'm going to want to add those as needed. One day I might need Flipgrid and the next day I might need Wakelet. It just depends and I can add and remove them as needed. Most of these apps are business based, but I'm going to show you some really good educational options. And my favorite, of course, is Flipgrid. So I would go out to flipgrid.com, create a grid, and then I would bring that grid into Teams using the grid code. If you don't know how to do this, check the accompanying blog post for resources on how to do that. I could also bring in interactive presentations I pre-created in Buncee for students to watch and interact with. I could bring in a pre-created form where I survey students or ask questions about content. I can add the insights option so I can see how students are interacting inside of Teams. I could bring in Stream, which allows me to curate all of those videos that I might want them to watch, including YouTube videos and or Teams meeting videos from calls students might have missed. And then if I don't find an app that I like, I could always go to website, select this, and I'm gonna put in Seesaw. And I type in Seesaw, and it brings me directly to my Seesaw activity that I would like the students to do that day. And as you can see, Seesaw was placed in the tab area. Now, when I'm done with the activity, all I have to do is remove it and maybe add a different tab or have several of them going at the same time. So back here, I can scroll through these and look for apps that I might like. One that caught my eye is the school day well-being where it appears I could ask students how they're feeling during the day to really get an SEL. And as I scroll down, I can also see that there's Merge Cube available. And if I scroll further down, I can see that I could add a Nearpod activity. I can add Wakelet collections. And if there's something I don't see, I can go search the name up here and see if it's available. I can also add Pear Deck. And so if you check the accompanying blog posts, I've chosen the 10 best educational apps that you might want to take a look at. So think of tabs as something you add to your teams and then remove as needed. Most of the time, it should be more fluid with you bringing in content that is needed for that day. If you wanna know more about tabs and the great educational options, check the accompanying blog post where we've added more information.